I like British humor. Growing up, watching Monty Python, you know, Doctor Who, everything like that. Mr. Bean, oh my god, I couldn't get enough of Mr. Bean. I absolutely love the British humor. Taiko Ortiz's humor? Not so much. It goes back to the meme, even with this actress. Hey, you should watch Friends. It's funny. Watching Friends. So a few weeks to a month or maybe a little bit more ago, I watched Time Bandits with one of my dearest friends ever. And I absolutely loved it. It had so much charm. It was great. I loved the humor. I loved the story. It was interesting. And it felt like, yes, this are, is some things that kids at the time would feel like. And it was awesome. It was a great adventure. Well, shortly after, I found out that they are remaking it into a series with, of course, the director Taika Waititi. Now, at the time, there was no trailer out yet. But the reports that we were getting was about this actress or actor or you tell me. Charlene Yi says they were physically and mentally abused on Time Bandits series set. That is the report that we got. We also talked about it on Insert Culture. So if you haven't checked that out yet, go ahead and do that. Now things get even better. Almost two weeks ago, a trailer came out for the show. I absolutely meant to make a video about it, but I didn't. And I kind of forgot about it until we got more news that I just now saw. So. Before we even get into that news, let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. Why can't you be a normal person with normal friends? We'll have Scott. You're stuck in the past, Kevin. You got to stop it with all these Vikings and the ancient geeks. Freaks. As well. <laughs> My wardrobe's moving. Whoa! Hold on. How is he here? What's going on? Your room. It's a time egress. He's never done that before. And it allows us to travel throughout the universe. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. I am Penelope, and I am, in effect, the leader. Well, fundamentally, though, we are all equal. Who are you guys? We're the Time Bandits, a crack team of expert thieves. Nothing is too big for us to steal. Okay, now that we're close, maybe it is too big to steal. <laughs> Have a map that can take us through time. Now, Manus Musa, some people say you're even richer than Jeff Bezos from Amazon. Wealthier than the mighty Jeff Bezos of the Amazon. Hey! <laughs> we have no knowledge of who that is. That map cannot and must not fall into the wrong hands. I shudder to think what would happen. Bring me that map. With that, I could create a universe of pure evil. <laughs> Stop laughing. It's evil, therefore it's serious. Return the fire. Did everyone steal? I got this beautiful vase. Vase. Oh, vase. Nice. Yeah, cool boss. Everyone, everyone got a vase? Yeah. Thanks you all for a brief moment in my life. I felt like I was part of the team. Yes, okay. Let's take him home. <laughs> this isn't my house. Yeah, it is. There's your family over there. They're not my family. But they look exactly like you. This sounds like a family matter, and we should give them space.
Yeah. Mm. So that felt kind of flat. Honestly, the original movie, it had charm. It had dwarves. It was funny. The jokes landed. Unlike here, well, I mean, the jokes landed on their nose. Just horrible. Like, I, there's nothing funny about it. They took out the dwarves, which, I mean, we talked about on Insert Culture. But come on, this was, what was this? And remaking this show today? Or re retelling it? Or whatever the hell that they're calling this? It, was, it had dwarves in it! And yes, we already talked about the dwarf problem on Insert Culture, but I'm bringing it up now. Ever since... Peter, whatever his name is, who played in Game of Thrones, went out and said that it's. I don't even know what kind of phobia it is. To hire dwarves to play in movies and shows. Those people aren't getting any jobs anymore. And shows and movies where dwarves are needed. You get stuff like this. Like what in the hell? I, I can't stand that actress. It's not funny. This trailer just fell completely flat, flat on its nose. Just bam. Yeah, that, whew, that's not going to be any fun. But do let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the trailer. Does this inspire? And I will be honest, I think something like this, it would have potential to be a great show. You could really make something out of it. You could really tell a deep and good story. If you weren't freaking woke. If you weren't following the freaking agenda that has been going on for years and years and years now. Keep on doing the same old, same old that people don't want to see. Taika Waititi is not funny. Yeah, I liked some of his movies early on, especially in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I thought they were pretty good. They progressively, and that is the word that I'm using, progressively got worse and worse and worse. Do you have any doubt that this won't be some kind of messaging? Especially with the female lead here. But this new article came out and I just thought about, hey, I should probably do this video. Time Bandit's show reinvigorates Monty Python film with Lisa Crudeau-led ensemble. Did it? Did that trailer inspire you? Was, were you reinvigorated? Los Angeles Associated Press adopting a cult classic film into a television series is a daunting task. But for Lisa Bruto and her collaborators on The Time Bandits, that challenge just meant there was more room for exploration. Inspiring. The series version of a film means you're going to expand and really go into some more details about that world. And that's what I was excited about, Crudo said in a recent interview with the Associated Press. It was really fun. Time Bandits, an Apple TV Plus series that begins streaming July 24th, so in just a few days, is based on the 1981 film of the same name, directed by Monty Python's Terry Gillum and co-writer by him and frequent collaborator Michael Palain. Both the film and the series follow a ragtag band of time-traveling thieves, led by Crudo as Penelope, who join forces with their newest recruit, an 11-year-old history buff named Kevin, as they journey through time on a, re on a quest to save the boy's parents from evil forces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, does this look inspiring? I believe I will be watching the show. I will be reviewing it. 
just because, you know, it gets the views. I'm not going to lie about that. That being said, I have no hope of this actually being any good. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. And hey, you know what? I can recommend the movie, the 81 movie. Go and watch it. It's a lot of fun. And let me know your thoughts on the original movie. And together, we can watch the series and talk about it. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. You know, whatever floats your boat. Consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications because that is the only way that YouTube knows that you are interested in watching my videos. Thank you for stopping by. And until next time.